Hi there and welcome to our next lesson on the nature of waves and this is part of our P5 space for reflection topic. Now during the lesson today we are going to be looking at the behaviour of waves and the behaviour of light. Anyway I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you at the end. Okay so our objectives for today's lesson on the nature of waves is by the end of this lesson you should know and understand how waves behave when they are able to interfere with each other. Now with this we're going to be looking at uh, reinforcement and cancellation which kind of does explain a little bit what, we, we're, what we're expecting and we're going to be looking at how light travels um, in various different positions. Anyway, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, now the first thing we're going to look at is if we've got two identical waves and what happens when they overlap. Now, there are two things that can occur. The first is reinforcement. Now, reinforcement occurs like this. Now, as we said, they're two identical waves, so we've got two waves that are running identical. Now, because if you look here, you can see the peak of the wave is exactly the same position because they're identical. What they do is they reinforce, so they make the wave twice as big. So if the value of this will be 1, and the value of this is 1, then this would increase to 2, which is the sum of both of the waves. So you're adding up the two waves. Now, the second is the opposite to reinforcement, and that is called cancellation. And this is where we have the waves are out of phase. So the identical waves, but you can see that this wave, the trough is underlined with the peak. And here the peak is underlined with the trough. So again, if this was negative 1 and this was positive 1, it would add up to 0. So you subtract the two waves from each other. Now, the effect of these can be quite quite significant that if you've got uh, two waves such as water waves like this so if you had two waves moving in different directions or from different directions and they met together you would end up with big waves so you might end up with these at Cornwall where you get two different direction waves that interfere and you get higher waves whereas these might be slightly uh, different where you get two waves out of phase and then they just fade away and disappear and that's where you get the flatter waves. Now if we refer into sound and light waves with this with the sound waves if you had reinforcement you would end up with a loud noise whereas if you had cancellation you would end up with quiet noise and you might sometimes if you go to pop concerts rock concerts anything like that you might find that when you walk past the speakers if you walk across or past the stage you might have areas where it's very loud and then you might have areas where it is very quiet so with light waves reinforcement you will end up with a bright light and with cancellation you will end up with darkness so you end up with having light and dark patches of of light now with these as we said the waves need to be similar so they have to be the same wavelength and the same intensity now this sort of interference is not what we use for radio waves so it's not radio interference now light is an electromagnetic wave which means it is a transverse wave now it travels in a straight line now when we or when light hits an object it will reflect and that means that it can cause shadow however if we have light that can hit or change uh, a medium that it's traveling through we can end up with something called refraction which will be something you covered in one of the different topics 
Now, if we have a look here, so for example, this could be uh, air and water. The light traveling can hit from the air can hit the water and it can change the direction in which it's moving and that is refraction. Now single and double slits means that we can have a gap that light can actually travel through. Now if light were to travel through and end up hitting a slit, now if the light was traveling in such a way now we've got regular wavelength as it came through you would end up with diffraction of that particular wave now if we have a look at it traveling through a double slit like this one here you can see that you've got the wave the waves hitting and as each one travels through you get two areas of diffraction and this is where you can get the uh, both the reinforcement and the cancellation on the screen that you are shining the light at. Now here you've got a central bright patch followed by a dark patch and you've got this on both sides. Then you have an area of bright, then dark bright and dark fringes and it's the same on both sides. So you have areas of bright light, really bright, where the two waves are in uh, reinforcing and then you have the areas of dark where they are cancelling each other out. Now polarised light means that you have only one specific direction of light. Now if we show you this view through some polarised sunglasses you can see that you've got no glare within the sunglasses so you've got no kind of lines that you might see with regular sunglasses. Now polarised light travels in one direction but that one direction can have multiple directions as well. So let's have a look at what we mean by this. So if we had a beam of light it would have a transverse wave that would go up and down like this. Now from the same source it could be going left to right, it could be going at this angle or it could be going at this angle. So we've got up and down, which is the first one. We've got side to side, which is the second one. And then we've got any of those in between. Now what polarised light does is it puts a screen which only allows one direction of light. So so here's our screen of polarised glass. Now as we shine this, this light here into it, so we're travelling or sending the light in this direction. Let's change that colour. So we're sending that light in that direction. It will only let in one of these particular directions of light. Now what we're going to do is we're going to say it is this one. So that means that only light travelling up and down, not any of the side to side or at any of these angles, will only allow that light to travel through that particular source or that particular light. Now if you've got an opposite polarised light or polarised shield here, that may only let in light travelling in this direction. That means that if you put two polarised uh, screens together, it will block out the light from both sides. And that is because the two lights are out of phase. Now, the reason why we might end up with having the reinforcement or the cancellation is because the two waves have been sent from a particular point and have managed to take a different amount of time to get there. Now this might be 
the sort of situation we, m we might end up in. So here we have our light source. Here we have the screen that we're shining the light at. So the light obviously can hit the screen dead on. But here we could have a mirror or a window. Now unfortunately I can't quite get the angle of this right but the light could also shine in this direction and it could hit that same point. Now obviously because the light travels at the same speed this ray of light or this beam of light will hit the screen earlier than this one that has reflected off this surface. Now that can have an effect on the actual image that we collect on the screen here. Now, if we have what we call an odd number of half wavelengths, that means that we've got um, two, uh, sorry, one, three, five half wavelengths. We will end up with a destructive interference, which is the same as this cancellation. Whereas, if we had an even number, of half wavelengths then we would end up with the constructive which is the same as the reinforcement so we'd end up with brighter light or we would have um, the cancellation okay so to summarize what we have looked at today we have looked at the uh, reinforcement and cancellation of waves and we've looked at how that can influence the wave that's actually produced we have looked at the uh, effect of uh, having slits that we can send the light through so we can get areas of dark and areas of brighter patches of light. Um, and we've also looked at polarisation and how we can have the difference in path and what the effect of those can be. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed the lesson and I will see you next time. Bye bye.